Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, we are now on chapter 3 of our discussion in Eng 10 and uh, we are going to talk about functions ano, in this chapter. So what is a function? A function is a rule for a relationship between an input quantity and an output quantity in which each input value uniquely determines one output value. Okay, we say the output is a function of the input. So basically, dito pinag-usapan natin yung input and output. Okay, so meron tayong input and uh, may nangyayari sa input na yan to come up with the output value. Okay, so basically, the, a function is the relationship between these two values. Okay, so... Meron tayong iba't ibang klase actually ng relationship between the input and output. Ma, for example, uh, kapag ang input natin ay 5, ang lumabas ay ang lumabas ay 10. Okay? Kapag may input tayo na 6, lumabas ay 11. Kapag inong input tayo ng 7, ang lumabas ay 12. So we have here uh, an input output relationship. Okay? So, when do we say that an input-output relationship is a function or not? Okay, kasi may mga relationship na hindi function. Okay, or may mga relation na hindi function. Okay, so, meron, tayong, meron kasi tayong tatlong klase ano, ng relation. Isa-isahin natin itong one-to-one. -one. Okay, one-to-one. One-to-many. Uh, one Tsaka many-to-one. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin, unahin natin itong 1 to 1. Ang ibig sabihin ng 1 to 1, for every input value, there corresponds 1 output value. So basically, a 1 iti, walang nauulit na input, walang nauulit na output value dito sa 1 to 1. So basically, kapag ganyan, ang criteria na kas kasi natin to, come to say that the, the relation is a function is ito. Uh, each input value uniquely determines one output value. Itong uniquely. Okay. Yung ibig sabihin nito, dapat for every input, unique yung output. Okay. Hindi pwedeng dalawa yung output sa isang input lang. Okay. Pero the other way around pwede. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin nito, hindi pwedeng marami yung output value sa isang input value lang. Okay? So, kung 1 to 1 yung relation, then unique yung output value for every input value. Ibig sabihin kapag 1 to 1, this is a function. Okay? So, function yung 1 to 1. Okay. This is an example. Itong nasa slide natin kasi 5, 10, 6, 11, 7, 12. So, 1 input corresponds to 1 output. Ito naman many to 1. Okay? Maglagay tayo dito. Erase ko ito. Many to 1, ang ibig sabihin nito... Okay, isa lang yung input, example 5, ang, uh, ang lumabas ay 10, ang output is 10. So, pwede lumabas din ay 12, tsaka lumabas din ay 13. Okay, so this is a one-to-many relation. Isa lang yung input natin. Isa lang yung input natin. Yung output natin, tatlo for one input. Kaya one to many. Okay? Kapag ganito yung case, hindi na unique yung output value natin. Okay? Hindi unique yung output value natin for just one input. Ang ibig sabihin nito, this is not a function. The one to many relation is not a function. How about the many to one? Erase ulit ito to, uh, so that I can write a relation na of many to one. So, uh, example, uh, 3, the output is 10. When the input is 4, the output is also 10. When the output is 5, input is 5, the output is also 10. So, this is many to one relation. Kasi for every input, uh, the output is pare-parehas, di ba? So, this is many to one relation. If this is the case, for each input, unique pa rin yung output value. Kasi isa lang naman yung output value for every input value. Okay? Hindi naman dalawa or tatlo yung output value for each 
input value. Okay, in this case, the many to one is also a function. This is also a function. Okay, so the one to one and the many to one relation is a function. Other, uh, itong one to many is not a function because uh, na, ano niya itong uniquely determines the output value. Hindi unique yung output value when the relation is one to many. Okay, let us go to function notation. So, how do we not uh, paano yung notation natin for function? Okay, so meron tayong input value tsaka output value. For example, age and height. Okay, our output value, our output value is, uh, for example, height. And our input value, our input value is age. Okay, so we want to determine the height of a person na ang alam natin ay age. Okay, ang input natin ay age. Gusto nating malaman yung height, the output. So how do we not... Uh, write this using a function notation okay eto the output is equal to the f of the input okay yan yung notation natin so pwede nating sabihin okay height is equal to f of h okay o pwede yan okay sometimes naman uh, we use abbreviations or variables for our input and for our output. For example, gusto nating sabihin the height is equal to h and h is a. Okay? So pwede natin sabihin notation natin h is equal to f of a. Okay? So ganyan yung pagkakasulat natin for function notation. So ang ang pangalan ngayon ng function natin ay f. Okay? This is a function f. Pwede din natin sabihin, ayaw natin ng F na yan, so pwede natin sabihin, H is equal to G of A. So, in this case, ang pangalan ng function natin ay G, function G. Okay, so kapag nakikita tayo ng ganito, ditong nasa loob ng parenthesis, okay, that is the input quantity. Ito naman, this is the output quantity. Okay? So take note dito itong parenthesis dito hindi hindi ito nagsisimbolize ng ano ng multiplication ano. Hindi ito multiplication. Okay? This is a function notation. Let us take for example this one. A function n is equal to f of y gives the number of police officers n in a town in year y. What does f of 2005 equals 300 tell us? Remember, yung function notation natin dito is n is equal to f of y. Okay, ano yung input natin? Ito yung input, ito yung output. So, ano yung input natin? Y is the year, di ba? Year. Input is year. Okay, year with symbol y. And our output is the number of police officers okay number of police officers uh, ang notation natin for that one is n okay so ngayon ang tinatanong ano ang ibig sabihin ng f of 2005 is equal to 300 okay remember ito baliktad lang ano kasi yung f nandito sa left side of the equation so ang ibig sabihin nito the input is 2005 ibig sabihin the year is equal to 2005 and the number of police officers po na lang ano the number of police officers is equal to 300 the output so ang ibig sabihin nito in the year 2005 the number of police officers is 300 Okay, so that's uh, the way how we interpret uh, function notation. Okay, so function is can also be expressed. Kagaya nito, function can be expressed in words. Tama? Pero functions can also be expressed in many forms, hindi lang in words. Okay, we will look at these different uh, function notations or different types of functions uh, in the following videos okay so uh, see you in the next video